January. End of January. That's still yeah. going to be a very busy time for me. Okay. No worries. But going into I'm game sorry. one. No, no, it's fine. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna cry much. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, we got Corrin versus Game and Watch. So Game and Watch. The thing about this character is if you can get your early percent combos and you know how to up B at a shield, you know how to play the character. Yeah, it's just juggle, juggle, juggle. And yeah, there you go. And like down air is such a good landing option as well. This character really has all of it to be a top tier. The only thing holding him back is like his weight. Basically. Because his disadvantage is like non-existent. Like right there. So many characters would not have been able to punish that. They have to respect it. Oh my god, he's already got oh Bucket. Oh yeah, he also has massive projectile gameplay. That could have been Reed Bucket. Yeah, oh my god. Look at that, and that up air is... Boy. People actually thought that up air was bad at the beginning of this game. Unfortunate SD coming out from Strikeout, but he'll come back in the next stock. Hopefully. Still, that up air, we thought... Oh my he god. He could have done like down throw Nair and then Bucket. That would have been a true combo. Sometimes this character is a little bit ridiculous. Oh, for sure. Still, that up air is just a combo duel. That's what's so good about it now. Since there's only one air dodge in this game, too, it's an amazing option for frame trapping. Right. Like, if they, unless they have a move like that, Corn, fantastic use of down air from strikeout to avoid that up air juggle situation. Only taking like 10%. Ooh, he has got to stop with these Dragon Fang shots. Ode is red every single one of them and just buckets it. It's a very reactable thing to do. Definitely. It's a slow projectile. Oh, wow. That was a, I really like that. He air dodged in and then up beat immediately. Oh, did he roll? Yeah, I think he rolled in there. Gotcha. I may have be wrong, though. Game Watch's ledge trapping is also fantastic with that forward air and bacon. Yep. Ooh, that's going to be a punish. Just needs to jab for his troubles, though. Not too bad. Ooh, oh <laughs> my god, the invincibility from Game Watch is up B, letting him get away from that counter with no damage taken. It'd be a shame if I trampoline. What if you wanted to counter and Game and Watch just said no? What if you wanted to Dragon Fang, but Game and Watch said bucket? Exactly. Ooh, trying to read a jump with the upper. Yeah. Oh my God. Ode is just throwing out so many hitboxes. That forward air, in case you don't know, there's a when it's falling, it's like not an active hitbox until it like explodes or hits something. That dragon thing killed across the stage. Oh, did he hit him with a bite? Yeah. Gotcha. Not not the bite, but the just pin pin. This is where Game and Watch can struggle. Ode has not really been going off to edge guard. He's kind of been focusing more on ledge trapping. He could have just kept baconing. Yeah, you could have hit him with the pan hitbox, yeah. which actually does a good amount of knockback. That might have killed, actually. And that's the thing about that up air. It doesn't kill until, like, 700%. But that chair going to take it, hitting him with the steel chair. Ah, <laughs> oh, Game & Watch. Game Watch also has huge disjoints, so core and sword doesn't even really matter that much. Not really, no. That nair is the size of Game & Watch. Good parry. Yeah, both. Pretty smart, but he got nothing made. <laughs> no, there. not at all. I think that's just Corrin, though. Yeah, like, Corrin. What Corrin are you gonna get? Like, doesn't have combos off of something like Nair. He he could have been able to pin possibly, but hindsight is twenty twenty. Yeah. Good. He's actually starting to punish things on shield. I'd like to see some more back air coming out from Strikeout. That move since it pushes you back, and if you retreat with it, you're automatically fully spaced. Good poking tool for sure. Strikeout really can't do much more than get straight hits. Mm -hmm. He's kind of just been playing behind. Ooh, shield drops and hits him with the, wow, that's a hitbox of down smash you don't see too often. I was thinking like earlier, but wasn't saying, he's not using down smash very much. And then I'm like, oh. Down smash is safe. You can just run up and down smash in neutral. And if you get it at 70, they die. They do indeed die. It's crazy. Because Tipper F smash has way too much knockback for that character. Taking it to town and city. Um, I honestly don't. I, I would have gone battlefield, honestly. Because like, you yeah. can catch the down airs more easily on those like, tri-plot layouts. I'm guessing Yoshi's story isn't legal right now, right? No, no, no. We, uh, we ban that stage. Yeah, Kalos okay, so is the only counter pick, and then yeah. normal starters. Yeah, I would have gone battlefield. Yeah. But uh, we'll, see, we'll see what he works with. Maybe, maybe this is a comfort pick. That's always an option. Ooh, okay. Yeah, the platforms on town are like an interesting height, so I'm not surprised Oat kind of messed that timing up. Who gets the grab? 
Good job with the uppers and chasing him with the up B. Oda's actually being a lot more aggressive this game, and I like it. Yeah, it's... I kind of want to see this one end quickly, honestly. Yeah. This, uh... I kind of know how this is going to go, mm -hmm. is the problem. Game of Watch can be campy if he wants to. <laughs> wow! Oh! Oh my god. Oh, you're sick. He's kind of showing off at the moment. I like it. I like this version of Oat. Ooh, that was a spicy down smash. This is what happens when he picks up a uh, Dude, real Ga character. Game & Watch is a Project M character. No, this isn't as bad as PM, but Game & Watch. <laughs> I saw videos. He would, like, wave dash and, like, be reverse and, like, didn't his up B have a hitbox that, like, killed? Look, he had, he had some really ridiculous things. He had true combos off of grabs. Grabs were easy to get. His bucket was ridiculous. His... his Bacon was ridiculous. You're acting like it's not in this game. <laughs> okay, but it wasn't to that degree. <laughs> I gotcha. I'm, Trust I'm just me, messing PM with Game & Watch was basically <laughs> Ultimate Game & Watch on Super Steroids. Nice. I love Super Steroids. You wouldn't like it with Game & Watch. No, not at what all. Do you like, what do you like down throw to Nair, kill confirm at 80? No. That's that sounds what happens. miserable. That's what happens. Speaking of down throw at 80. Ooh, wow. That was an interesting hit. Got hit it with the eight. left side of the wing. Dragon Ascent, I'm pretty sure that move is called. Yep. Super badass name. Korra needs something in their favor. Oh, it's kind of just spacing out right now. He, he knows that he doesn't have to overcommit to anything. No. I'm not sure if he knows that he can angle the bacon. Like, you can angle bacon up or out to, like, cover the ledge in that position. Uh, he might know. All right. So we're at a slow Ooh, point yep. in the game. That's that death. should be death. Oh he my went god! For oh, are you kidding me? He went for cheese. He's grinning. He's gr oh my god! What a show off. Jack, you're you're cool. And he forced the SD strike out. Fantastic Fight job, Io. Fight back. Strike out. <laughs> Ooh, tipper pin. Getting a good amount of wow. Tipper up smash too. Oh my god! Oh. Oh, you didn't need to do that. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, Game & Watch is banned from this tournament. Um, after that. Did you see the hero game earlier in bracket? I did see. Oh, my God. Did 